Hello there ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another video. Now in this one I'll be showing you guys how to root the tick watch E. And so you might be wondering well why the hell would you actually want to root one of these? <laughs> well you can do like some cool root features so if I just go into one of my face watches here. As you can see you can get like the free memory you can get the storage used and then you can also view the top commands and all that kind of stuff <coughs> so you can see which uh, like process is using the most CPU on your RAM or whatever and then you can also like nicely reboot so if I just exit out of this go to my app launcher and launch up this one so you can reboot like turn off the device reboot it reboot twp and reboot to boot loader uh, this is handy since um it's kind of like the shutdown and reboot on tick os is uh, or tick or, or <laughs> android wear is like hidden in settings so that's a nice way of like turning off your device so before we begin routing um, there's like a good bit of stuff that we need to download onto our PCs so we'll be following this guide for most of the way so I'll just make this a little bit bigger I'll leave this link in the description as well and so just go down here, download V3. And then, well before that, we'll actually download platform tools. So search for Android platform tools. This will give us the ADB and uh, fast boot tools. So download the one for Windows and then save it wherever you want I have it saved here and then extract it as well so you get this here then go back to here and download the image direct download then save it and I'm going to save it to the platform tools uh, folder, the one that you just extracted, and then rename it as uh, twrp.image, because this is basically twrp. So once that's saved, we can begin. So first thing what you want to do is enable debugging on the watch so this is found inside your settings so just scroll down oops yeah settings and um, all the way down to developer options if you don't have this tap on system go to about go to build number and keep on tapping this you need to tap it like five times or so and then developer options will um, appear for you so there they are and then just scroll down until you see USB debugging and enable it all right so next thing we want to do is reboot into our bootloader so on the computer, where you have the platform tools, uh, hold shift on your keyboard and press right click and then open CMD window here. Or if that doesn't work for you, just uh, copy this path here open up cmd or whatever terminal you use then type in cd 
and then right click to paste and there you go if you type deer we should see all of our TWRP and all that kind of stuff I'll zoom in here as well so you guys can see nicely next what I want to do is ADB oops ADB devices now on your watch you should see an allow debugging interface here so just press ok so if we go back to the computer press the up arrow on your keyboard to bring back whatever you typed before and then you should see here a device is attached so make sure it's like this um, if it says it's unauthorized just uh, make sure the USB debugging is you granted the yoke and now what I want to do is type in ADB or reboot oh yeah also make sure you are plugged in with the charging cable yeah so there we go this is how the bootloader looks like and as you can see I'm already unlocked but if you are not unlocked type out fastboot oem unlock and then press enter and this will unlock your device it will also factory reset it so you'll have to set it up again so after this is done after you run the unlock command run fastboot and then just simply reboot and this will reboot your watch from here you'll have to go through the setup again and enable the ADB debugging from the settings again because we need to have the bootloader unlocked to flash uh, TWRP all right and then here press uh, OK to allow the debugging and on the computer run ADB reboot bootloader again so from here we will we will flash so just wait for this pop up here or for this uh, screen here and then type in fastboot flash recovery and then the TWRP image that you downloaded so this is the one that I renamed so flash that we'll need to download magisk and all that kind of stuff so run fastboot reboot so this will reboot the watch back into the OS so while that's going on on your computer uh, find magisk github so I will give you a link to this as well but you can just search it like so and then what you want to do is download the magisk manager save this apk into your platform tools folder as well and you'll need to download magisk this one here so this is the zip save it to platform tools again so now inside our platform tools we should have magisk manager and the magisk zip that we'll need to install on the phone basically all right so back to the terminal wait for the watch to reboot fully and allow USB debugging again so we want to install the magisk apk so to do that run adb install and then followed by magisk and you can press tab to autocomplete and make sure it is the magisk apk now I already have it installed so I won't do this 
and then we'll need to copy over the magisk uh, zip file as well so do adb and then push and we want to push the magisk uh, the zip one and I forgot what it's called so magisk 20.4 Um, yeah, so Magisk and then this and then tap and it should auto complete and we want to push it to SD card Enter and There we go. So now we have the Magisk zip on our phone as well as well as the Magisk Manager installed in the phone. So if you go into here, you should see a new application pop up here Magisk Manager, so if you click on it, it will be like you won't be rooted. So, to root it properly, you would need to flash the Magisk image. So, to do that, reboot to Recovery. Since we already re installed Recovery, so just do ADB Reboot Recovery. So there we go, we're inside TWP, so now what you want to do is go into install and then press install zip and then find the Magisk zip, so just scroll down and there we go, we have Magisk 2.04, we'll press, press on that and then press the tick mark, oops, press the tick mark here, like so, and then you want to swipe to confirm. There we go, and then just press reboot system. Alright, so once we're back in, allow debugging again and so if we go into the magisk manager as you can see we have it installed and if we go into our PC again, we can do adb shell and if you type in who am I you can see we are shell but if you do su and you type in who am I as you can see we have root privileges and we can like look at all the files inside the root directory and all that kind of stuff so yeah that's it um, so yeah, I haven't really found like any kind of root apps that you can use so I just kind of made my own <laughs> for example the fast settings here like I said before that just lets you reboot the watch into like TWRP and all that kind of stuff straight away so you don't have to run shell commands or whatever so yeah that's that um, I'll be making another video on this uh, face later on, so uh, stick around for that. So you can like change backgrounds and all that kind of good stuff here as well. So yeah, thanks for watching and bye bye.